In today's episode, I explore the lost waterways of my hometown in Stockport. Originally built in 1793 and completed by 1797, the canal was used to transport cargo from the mills in Stockport. By 1922, the canal was already classed as derelict. With the introduction of the railways, this meant the canal was less useful and became less used over the years. The canal shut down and was filled in by 1962. Hello, welcome. So here I am at the very start of the Stockport Canal. Here it is. Now the canal doesn't exist anymore and everything has been built over. This is the only remains. As you can see, it's full of shopping trolleys. <laughs> But, if we do walk that way, and follow the old line of the canal, maybe we can find some old historic locations. Now, as you can probably see, it's uh, a bit of a dumping ground <laughs> at the start of the canal. And uh, there is actually an old motorbike frame there, right there. Should have brought the magnet. But this is all silted up now. So we're gonna head this way, see if we can find any old older uh, bits of it. So I'm walking along the uh well I'm walking along where the canal used to be. It's a long footpath and I've come to the first bridge. <laughs> now this bridge just screams canal. You can tell it's a canal bridge. And it's been turned into a walkway. So where we are at the minute was water. That would have been the towpath. Here we are. Yeah, that's extremely obvious. <laughs> So there's the old towpath, and here's where the water would be. You still see the old sides, that even looks like a footprint, doesn't it, of an animal. Look at that. So, as you can see, the canal would carry on that way, but here's the bridge. So, bridge one, found. Let's carry on. So I've actually had to miss out that bridge there uh, because <laughs> there's people drug dealing under there. And I know they're drug dealing because they asked me if I wanted to buy drugs. Anyway, come up to this one. 
and as you can see this used to be the canal bridge you can still see the archway here where the boats would have gone under see that so this is all that's left of this bridge and obviously it's all filled in but if we go to the opposite side now the opposite side of the bridge has been torn down and obviously it's all filled in but this road here follows the path off the canal so we're going to head down here and it should bring us to a lake now we're coming up to this bit i'm not too sure if this is part of the original canal it does have that canal vibe to it but it looks like probably 50 1950s now the canal did shut down in 1960 odd so it's a possibility that this is actually an original tunnel for the canal now if we pass through here there is a massive lake and the canal itself curved round now what we're going to do is follow this road and this road is the exact route of the actual canal the canal's under this and here we are as you can see the road is starting to curve and I according to the old 1800 maps the canal actually curved around this lake so it curved right next to it let's spill off there is a tunnel down there not too sure what that's for <laughs> and here we are so the canal headed that way let's have a look at this lake I know it's just a lake but Now, when we get to the opposite side of this, the, uh, the original canal and the footway that follows it today disappears. Everything has been built over by houses. So finding any relics from the past, or relics, bridges and stuff like that, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> But this is heading towards Holdsworth Mill, which is in Reddish, which ain't too far away from here actually. It's about a mile down that way. Maybe two actually. I've now come to North Reddish Park. And as you can see, as you can see, this is the old tree line that used to run along the canal. I mean, it's just all filled in now. but you can still see the layout off the canal and obviously the old tree lines give it away now as we come up to the fence up here it disappears again there's houses built all over it so what we're going to do is when we get to the opposite side is I'm going to jump in my car and drive to the next spot <laughs> there we are the end So here we're outside of Victoria Mill and Elizabeth Mill. Now these are the fronts and they're still here and they're still in use today. Mainly apartments though so, um, and a few offices. But the canal originally ran round the back and there is another mill up there called Holsworth Mill. And the canal ran round the back of them. So what we're gonna do is try and get round the back and see if there's still any remains. golf course has been built over the top of the canal but big but look here oh the sun's in the way here there's a line of old trees and there's a line of old trees on this side now to me that's saying that I reckon this was the line of the canal 
that went behind the mills. Now the mill is over that side. Uh, there's houses built here now, so this bit's gone. But if you can see the row of trees leading to the next mill over there. So uh, we'll follow this down. Let's have a look. There's got to be some re remains. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Now around the back of Holdsworth Mill where the canal used to run there is still actually parts of the bridge. Here it is. And it has a plaque. Yes, yeah, so this bridge was re redone in 1909. Now there's no remains of the canal on the opposite side, it's literally just all filled in. And the bridge is on that side as well, again all filled in. And the canal ran down the back of Broadstone Mill, which is that one there. So it ran down the back and now it's uh, there's a gym built on top of it. So. The canal travels along here, around the back of this mill, which is Broadstone Mill, I think, <laughs> and goes along here and underneath the gym uh, that is currently built over it now. Now, behind the gym, there is a train track and a canal bridge that goes underneath the train track. But unfortunately, I've looked around everywhere and I cannot find a way to get to that bridge so that's it's just one of them <laughs> can't get to it not unless I walk along a live train track and I'm not doing that anytime soon <laughs> and yes I'm in the car it's freezing <laughs> So the canal passed through underneath here. Now there's Halfords and everything built on top of it, but it did run through here. Now the canal passes through this bit. Halfords is just up there. And there's, this is a roundabout at the minute. And there's roads surrounding it. But on the maps, I think there's still some part of the old canal just on the other side of this tunnel. Now I'm not too sure if these are part of the old canal steps. I'm sure there's a plaque around here somewhere that says. But there is a mill here. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. There it is. I found the plaque. It is part of the old canal. There it is. So that would be the old pathway that led down to it. And the plaque there says, the Stockport Canal, this plaque plaque marks the line of the canal which terminated behind Nelson's flour mill. So that's this mill. It opened in 1797 as branch of the Ashton Canal to serve the developing town of Stockport, known as the Lanky Cut. 
It carried goods and passengers and from many mills along the 4.2 mile of the junction at Clayton to its terminus at Stockport. Now the mill is still in action today. It's uh, still producing flour. That's why the walls look a little bit white. That's not paint, that is actually flour. <laughs> so here's the uh, old walk down. Don't go anywhere now, but used to. There we go, I'm on the old canal towpath. Now there's a pub there called The Navigation. And it was called The Navigation because the navvies uh, built the uh, canal. Or something like that, I probably got that wrong. <laughs> Here we are, we're on Gordon Street. This marks the end of the canal. This is where it stopped. There's no more, there's no, nothing that indicates the canal ended here. There's no plaque, no old walls, nothing. That's it, right there, right there, gone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little trip. Uh, I didn't even know there was a canal in Stockport until I looked at the 1800 maps that so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you like this video let me know and I'll try and do more <laughs> so uh, man it is busy here I've got people coming up to the car and everything right I'm gonna go thanks for watching like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Oh my no god! Way.